Hello everyone, welcome back to the Dork Side. I am the Dork in the Road, and today we're installing case savers on my Suzuki DRZ400. That's right everyone, I am the Dork in the Road and I want to be your internet riding buddy. And I'm better than your regular riding buddies because I'm available whenever you want and I come with a mute button. So please, consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on those notifications so that you know when I post awesome new dual sport and adventure motorcycling content just like this. This is my 2020 Suzuki DRZ400. I just got it, I'm incredibly stoked. Thank you for coming along with me as I add mods and get it set up for the off-road riding that I enjoy. Ask any DRZ owner what the, what the number one must-do mod is for a DRZ400 and they will tell you case savers. Why? Because the, the case, the engine case on the DRZ400 is made of magnesium. Magnesium is very brittle because of the, the design on the brake and shift levers. It is very possible if you drop the bike for one of those levers to puncture the side of your case, have all the oil flow out and you get stuck in the woods. So um, in order to prevent that, you install case savers. These are aluminum uh, and they just attach right to the outside of the case and give it a little bit of flexibility, a little bit of puncture resistance so that your levers don't go right through your case in a drop, in a bad drop. Uh, they're pretty simple to install from what I can tell, so we're gonna do that today. So here's what you need to install these. One, case savers. Two, RTV high temp silicone. And three, you're probably gonna want some rubber gloves because your fingers are gonna get gross with silicone all over them, that's up to you. Step one is actually clean up the surface, so we're gonna clean this off. Most people recommend brake cleaner or something, and I would agree with that on an older bike, but this one, it's a 2020, I've had it for two weeks. I've had it in the woods once, so it's just a little dusty, it doesn't have any oil or gunk on it, so I think I can get away with just a Clorox wipe this time. But clean it up real good, I don't want any dirt or anything underneath there. Clorox wipes, are they still worth like a small fortune? Like am I, am I wasting $100 in Clorox wipes right now? I want to make sure this is dry before I try to put anything on it, obviously. Okay, once the surface is cleaned up, you just need to identify which one goes on which side. They're very different looking, so if you can't tell which one goes on which side, my guess is that you failed shapes in kindergarten, and you might want to go back and uh, see if you can take an online course or something. But this side, the right side, obviously, this is the bigger one, because it fits right over, see, just like that. So, ooh, there is one more thing you need, I forgot. You need tape, also tape. So I'm gonna open my RTV. I'm gonna use the cap to puncture the top of the tube. Done, ooh, it's red. I got red because, well, I'm a Honda guy, but I bought a Suzuki, so I have to make up for it by, by secretly putting a little bit of red uh, on the side of the engine case. You're gonna wanna put your gloves on. Gloves are blue, Yamaha blue, Honda red RTV on a Suzuki bike. Almost got it all covered. I need something Kawasaki green. Oh, my shirt is Kawasaki green. You good? And I've been told that you don't want to be stingy with this stuff, so just making sure to save enough for the other side. You want to get it as thick as possible in the middle and then pretty thin around the edges. That way when it squishes out, it doesn't go all over the place. Ooh, looks like delicious Twizzlers. Yeah, there's a distinct Tabasco-y smell to this. So I'm using a lot because you're supposed to. It says, it says a quarter, a sixteenth inch to a quarter inch. And I'm gonna try to get it around the edges so it's not rattly. See why you want to use gloves? Yeah. The other thing you need is a paper towel so that when you get a little bit squished up from the edges, you can wipe that right off. Because this will definitely show up on my engine and I don't want it to. Clear might be better for that. If you're not trying to be cheeky and do a Honda Red thing. Okay, so more or less smeared on there really well. I'm gonna stick it on this case and try to center it and then we're gonna tape it on. Making sure there's none on my fingers. If there's a way to mess something like this up, I'll always find it. That's my talent, it's my gift. I see why they want you to take the brake lever out. Okay, and then you're just supposed to try to kind of feel around the edges and try to get it as centered as you can. It's pretty good to me. And then just press hard. I like it right there. I'm gonna wipe off all this excess. There's a lot, so I don't want a bunch of red showing, believe it or not, despite my earlier joking proclamation. When you got it where you want it, tape it on. This is not very sticky. It's sliding down right now. This tape sucks. I'm gonna use packing tape. Packing tape is better. Superior, far superior. I'm gonna clean up the edges. Fortunately, this stuff takes 24 hours to cure, so I'm probably safe. That's gonna cure for 24 hours. It's five o'clock, so hopefully I can ride this bike tomorrow. All right, other side. Left side of the bike, and again, Shapes are important, so 
This is the guy who can't put it on right. Goes kind of like that. Goes kind of like that. Same drill. RTV. Case saver. Tape. Tabasco, man. That's what it smells like. If you've ever smelled this, oh, you have to know what I'm talking about. I'm probably inhaling way too much of it. So if I pass out and this video ends up being 25 minutes long, because that's how long it takes the ambulance to get here. Enjoy the content. Small price to pay to make quality content. All right, let's try not to screw this up too bad. No promises though. That's where it goes. You're gonna get some hop-ons. Okay, so the red is definitely gonna be visible, so I should have gone with clear. I can see the error of my ways now. Obviously, I've never done this before, so you'll forgive me a little. Okay, tape. Tape is your friend. Well, it's taped on there. I may have to go in with a razor blade and cut off some of the excess um, because red was a stupid idea, but red's what I ordered. So I would recommend clear so it doesn't show up as well if you miss and go over a little bit. As far as I can tell, that's all you need to do. You just gotta let that sit for 24 hours before you take the tape off and then you're good to go. Your cases are protected. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you got any information out of it or you got a laugh out of my often inept uh, mechanic abilities, please feel free to hit that like button. Uh, if you like the video, it really helps. It really makes it more visible. It, does, it really helps me out a lot, so I appreciate that. And if you're real crazy, you might even consider becoming a patron like these fine people. Thank you, patrons, for helping me bring dorky motorcycling shenanigans to the world. But for now, I just want to say thank you very much, and as always, please do not forget to be excellent to each other. Thank you. Excellent! Yay! Uh, Basically, anytime you do it, you look into spout. I gotta cut the top off the spout. Yeah, okay, I gotta cut the top off this. Probably not gonna leave that in the video. Ugh, yeah, it smells like paste and Mexican food. You know what I'm talking about. If you've used it before, you know the smell. Do you have any more gloves? Oh.